Hey everyone, welcome back. It is I, Adriana. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this new Koala water slide decal paper that was sent to me to check out. If you followed me for a few years, you might remember that a while back I had used water slide decal paper to make some gifts for my son's teachers. Um, back then I used clear water slide decal paper that I found on Amazon. Um, so this will be my first time using Koala brand decal paper in the color white. Now if you don't know what water slide is, it is basically transfer paper that allows you to transfer an image um, onto items like glass, plastic, ceramic. So it's really good if you want to start making like custom cup gifts, mugs, things like that. So this here is one of the projects that I did for my son's teachers. As you can see, it is a clear cup and I ended up using clear decal paper, but I really wish I had used white. Same goes for this project. The image doesn't pop very well because it was a transparent image versus something that would have had a white backing to it to help the colors pop. Now, if you want to try this paper for yourself, go to koalagp.com and check out their water slide decal paper. They do have a huge assortment for you to choose from, including glitter one. <laughs> but today we're checking out this one. So for this, you get five sheets for $7.99. Use code Adriana at checkout for 15% off. It is really good for making personalized gifts. Um, it says that you don't need any spray coating such as sealant, which I'm really excited to test out. That's gonna cut back on some time. Uh, you can use it on both inkjet and laser printers and it's not supposed to jam, so we're gonna test that out. It also says, it of course, has a matte finish, but that it's sturdy, it doesn't crack and you do wanna make sure that it does not crack when you're using it. So this is what it looks like. Um, the package itself is a little beat up, but that is my mailman's fault. So <laughs> if you turn it over, it actually lists step by step the instructions on how to use it if you've never used it before. But I'm gonna show you anyways in this video. I'm really excited to find out this whole no need spray. We're gonna make sure that that's true because that's gonna cut back on a lot of time. So this is what the paper looks like taken out. Again, it's the five sheets. The back is noticeable from the front. The front is very bright white. The back is a less white color and it's a little rough. So make sure that you're printing correctly on the front. Now for this project, I am using this frame. I got it from Dollar Tree and I really liked it because it's nice and holographic. And I am gonna be printing this little picture out. It's just something I made super quickly in Photoshop with easy text for my sister. Um, now, when you print it, it does not matter what program you're using. Like I said, I'm using Photoshop, but it doesn't matter if you're printing from Canva, from Word, Publisher, whatever. You have to make sure that you use the correct print settings. So when you go to print, click on your print settings dialog box and then go down to the material type and make sure you put matte photo paper, all right? If it's glossy, you choose glossy. If it's matte, you choose matte. I'm gonna uh, keep my quality at standard and I'm gonna send that off to my printer. All right, so of course, make sure you put it into your printer using the correct side. Again, the front is much more bright, so that's how you'll be able to tell. Once I printed it, you can see here, it's got really great quality. There's no blurriness. Uh, you know, the, the ink is not spreading, and I did use my inkjet printer for this. I always also test the papers by rubbing my hands all over it to see if it runs. This did not run. So next step is to then cut out my little, I guess we'll call it photo. <laughs> Just this nice little square that I'm gonna use. I wanted something very simple that I know my sister would like and she usually likes anything I make her. So cutting this out using my paper trimmer, but of course you can always use scissors. Now, again, usually the next step would be to spray with that sealing spray, but supposedly we don't need that spray. So we're gonna go straight to the sink. Grab whatever item you're using. So I'm using glass, of course. And if you have Tupperware big enough to hold your image, use Tupperware because you have to submerge this in water, but I don't have a big enough Tupperware. So I'm putting this charger down into my kitchen sink and I'm gonna let the water immediately start flowing over my picture. 
I only let it dry out of the printer for about 30 45 seconds and as you can see it's going pretty well so far um, the whole point is to submerge the paper directly under water anywhere from 45 seconds to a few minutes will be fine I'm not really keeping track of how much time now as you can see I'm zooming in a little bit so you can see that the ink it's not running it's not bleeding it's not the paper is not tearing apart this is what water slide decal paper is meant for so it stays nice and put together it doesn't crack and the ink does not run I didn't use any special printer I just used a regular inkjet printer and this is how it's going now the way to know if it's ready to use quote unquote is for you to kind of move the edges around you can see look the paper the top layer is coming off of the back layer that's what we want so I'm going to submerge it a little bit more just to kind of prep it and then from there you want to grab whatever item you're using such as your glass your ceramic your plastic get it wet this is how you know if you should be using water slide or not for example if you wanted to put an image onto a backpack you can't wet the backpack so it's not meant for water slide decal paper so I'm putting it straight onto my glass and I'm gonna to try to center it a little bit the good news is that as long as you keep it wet it's still kind of movable you can still move it around once you've got it where you want it start to try and separate that top layer from the back layer again since they're both wet it's really easy and here's a trick use your right hand to hold the top layer and use your left hand to start sliding out the back layer all right so it starts coming out nice and easy don't worry about the wrinkles right now again as long as it is wet we have time to work with it all right so I'm gonna kind of just take it out but I'm gonna leave it here a little bit and then just adjust my little picture to make sure it is nice and centered as you can see the ink is still holding up though so thumbs up for that <laughs> um, again right thumb holds the top layer left thumb holds the back layer all right go ahead and make sure it is where you want it if you need to wet it some more all right so you can adjust it more you still have time to keep working as long as it is wet no big deal all right so now that I've got it pretty sure I think where I want it um, again the ink isn't running and I think that's so cool because normally if you didn't spray it it would run now what you're gonna do is go ahead and start smoothing out any air bubbles now you can use a really light light touch with an item like this a card you can even put a paper towel on top of it or uh, you can even use a blow dryer apparently also the koala package even stated that you could bake it in the oven I'm not a patient person you guys know that so I'm just gonna pop out my blow dryer I'm gonna put it on the lowest heat setting and I'm going to very lightly start to dry it off and I'm gonna use my finger again with a very light touch to push away those little air bubbles all those little wrinkles you see they will disappear just use a very 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 light touch and this is what it will look like nice and flat it looks so good honestly I really really like this I didn't know how it was gonna go this is my very first time doing this and I haven't used water slide in years all right so <laughs> I'm so excited and now look as you can see I am rubbing it and that ink is not coming off and I didn't spray it I don't I just don't understand if you understand my excitement okay <laughs> I mean normally that's a 30 minute to overnight process so the fact that we don't have to spray is a really good thing now I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my project I'm gonna remove the backing off of this frame again I got it from Dollar Tree in case you're wondering and it came with this little white frame on it but I don't want that I don't know what it's called <laughs> I'm gonna grab my glass I'm gonna stick it directly into the frame to see if I like the way it looks and honestly oh I am loving it let's go ahead and put these little what are these called brackets braces no idea what they're called but I want to put them down to see what it would look like oh it's so cute 
but I don't like the look of the black brackets, braces, whatever the heck they're called. So I think I'm gonna glue this down. Let's go ahead and remove all of them. You can pop them off real easy by just uh, using your finger to push them in and out, like wiggle the little black tabs back and forth, just like this. These are cheap enough that if you do it enough, they'll just pop right off, you see? So I'm gonna do that again, just back and forth, and you'll feel it easily break. You do not need to pull it off, because if you pull it, you might break your frame. So be very careful, um, just be a little patient. From there, I'm gonna grab my high temp mini hot glue gun from Lynn and Lily. It's a Sure Bonder brand. And I'm gonna just put a layer of glue all around the border. And you could use E6000 or whatever the heck that stuff is called, but again, I don't have patience for all that. I'm not a patient person. So I'm using my handy dandy hot glue and then just grab the glass and stick it right back in there. Now I can already see that my hot glue is kind of spreading out from the edges. So um, pro tip to you, learn from my mistake and don't use that much glue. I really didn't think I did, but apparently I did. So I'm just gonna grab like a scrap piece of paper or something real quick and kind of wipe it away. Um, if, I, if I need to, I might even use my tweezers as well. So again, pro tip, don't use as much glue as I did apparently. <laughs> And we're done. That is it. This is a birthday gift or a late birthday gift for my sister. Let me know what you guys think. I honestly really like this paper. I'm planning to use their glitter one as well to see what that looks like. So drop me a comment in the comments below to let me know if you want to see a video of that. All right. Any questions, drop them below and I will see y'all next time. Bye.